Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is a huge day. We are gonna be installing the R1 Concepts Kit Finally, for those of you that have seen my sponsorship video where I explain everything and how I'm an R1 Concept influencer, huge shout out to R1 Concepts for providing the kit. Um, I have the front and rear rotors along with the brake pads as well. So super excited to, sh to install those on the car. And I'm gonna basically show you in a rundown of everything that I do to the car. I'm also gonna be painting the calipers. So super excited for that. It's basically, it's been needing a touch up. I tried to repaint them before, but it didn't turn out very good. So now it's basically like a redo and it's a new color. So I'm excited to share this with you guys. Here is the brake kit itself. It's super heavy. So since everything is in one box, we had to roll it out here. <laughs> uh, but basically these are the R1 Concepts front brake pads. If you haven't seen my video already, I already went into depth more on it about the previous video about how I got this sponsorship with R1 Concepts. A huge shout out to them for providing everything. We have the front pads. We have the rear pads in here. We have the rotors um, all in these boxes, as you can see. So we're gonna be installing it on my Evo 8 2005. Super excited because I actually am running the StopTech rotors on here with Posi Quiet pads, which um, haven't been the best brakes, honestly. They're, they're pretty warped. You could see like the rings around it as well. And then my calipers are getting a new facelift because <laughs> they look terrible. So we are gonna be painting them today. And then Miguel's gonna be working on his car on the side, so. Trying to get it running. Trying to get it running <laughs> properly. <laughs> Which is pretty hard for Evos. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be doing a lot today. Super excited. Made it. It's freaking hot out here. Oh goodness, we're gonna die. Let's just go. I'm down. I need new Evo parts anyways. <laughs> Look at that. I got lunch and dessert. We officially have the world's messiest eater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What kind of a cluster mess is this, sir? I mean, look at me, compared to him. And he loves sauces, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, ranch? Look at it, he'll just devour like all these sauces. He just will eat everything. God. Okay, so now we're done. We're gonna go get some Red Bulls because we need to power through today. We have no energy. We have no energy. We're gonna go get some Red Bulls. We're gonna go to Home Depot um, and then pick out some paint, so. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up going to 7-Eleven. I got this one, the watermelon one, and he got Ghost. Yeah, I never tried this, but we need energy. We're both like super dead. We have like nothing. Got the AC on full blast. Yeah, it's too hot to function right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna chug this and then go to Home Depot. Finally made it to Home Depot. I decided to find a nice parking spot next to the squad. The squad. Yeah, we got all the Fiats out here. You wanna carry me? Yeah, get in. Okay, I'm following him. I trust you. We're not trying to paint a house, we're trying to paint calipers, so <laughs> let's get the right one. We need paint stripper too, because my calipers are already painted. Okay, they got race car paint. Turbo? Oh, I like that color actually. So luckily, I was able to find a color that I wanted. Um, this is the color that I was actually considering, French lilac. So it's yeah. like a like a lavender type it, color. It is matte though, so that's the one issue. But with a clear coat, hopefully that kind of... Yeah, of course, it's yeah. gonna... We're gonna put a clear coat that's gloss, so... I think we should just take this one, no? Yeah. Just like a regular automotive one? So we'll figure it out. I mean, I'm not primer. a professional, so... Yeah. This is, is like... this, this, then this. We got the stuff. We got the goods. We got all the wrapping, the tape. How much you spend on this? Forty-four dollars. Forty-four dollars. Just a DIY. Forty-four dollars. Way cheaper than sending it to the shop to go get painted. Okay, so we are back at the house. We are setting up everything. I completely ran out of water, so we had to go stop and get water before we died. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got the paint. We got everything, and we are gonna get started right now to put everything together. It's currently like. 90 something degrees outside but me and me and Miguel are basically pretending that it we are in Antarctica and uh, it's all mental. yeah it's all <laughs> mental so it's really cold out here I should have wore a jacket you know <laughs> Good to go. All right, so Marissa forgot to loosen up the lug nuts. Whatever. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to step on the brakes for her. Just be careful. I don't know. I don't trust these jackets. 
Are they Harbor Freight? <laughs> Were they loose already? No, this isn't the right socket for it, so it's like slipping. So I have it jacked up on all four wheels up in the air, and right now I'm just gonna take it off, take the whole brake kit off, and then spray some, um, some brake cleaner, some brake cleaner, some <laughs> paint stripper. Paint stripper. <laughs> it's so it's so hot. Okay. okay. Um, so I already took off the caliper itself. Look at how beefy these look. These look amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah. So basically, oh my god, it's so twisted. Um, so what I did is there's two 19 millimeter bolts on the back end of this. There's usually when it comes to regular calipers, there's like four bolts that you have to take off, but this one's only two, thankfully. So you just take these off. And then right now we're gonna take off the hardware kit on the back. Um, you just need like a little pin and kind of like a, something to hit it. You could use a hammer. You don't have to use anything extra um, in order to slide these pins out in order to take off the brake pads and the hardware. Right. So we're gonna do that. Also to remove the rotor, you want to explain that it just literally just slides off the hub, Yeah, right? there's literally no, because sometimes some of them take a screw in the middle where you have to like uh, hammer it out in order to get out the screw, but this one you just literally slide just off Just slides the right rotor. off, yeah, correct, yeah. Easy. Just in case you're trying to do this. Yeah, and then you never want to leave like the caliper hanging like this. Right, it damages stress, the brake, yeah. You could put stress on the brake line, so correct. you want to always put it like up here. If you have a um, those little bunch of things, you could put it through the coil and then hang it on here so it doesn't fall. But I just rested on like the heat shield and it should be fine. Okay. So in this case, I got a pick um, and then you just put it up here and you hammer it out. And I ended up putting the um, caliper back on with the one bolt holding it on. It doesn't need to be super secure, um, but just enough to be able to hit it out. Yeah, you gotta be, watch out. But sometimes it slides off too, like this. In this case, so you could just hit that. And what does this do exactly? It holds it holds the brake pads within the piston, yeah. the the caliper and the pistons, right? Yeah. So. Okay. okay. So this one's coming out at an angle, so we're gonna start hitting it from out here. There it is. It's probably not gonna come out like that. You, you have to hammer it out like the whole way, which is super annoying. Honestly, though, I feel like bare molds are easier to replace pads on versus like regular calipers. Oh, yeah. Calipers, yeah. Because even then, you don't have to take off the rotor if you're not replacing it. You can right. literally just, just take, take this off. Yeah. Yeah. Take this out, and then the hardware, the brake pads will come out like that. And either way, I'm repainting the calipers, so I don't really care about hitting it. So, yeah. And then when you put everything back, just make sure that you lube it up too. Okay. You can see the pads slide out easily. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Easy. I still had some life left, but you could see, look at yeah. all the lines on here. You could see from the warped rotor. Yeah. So. so I currently have the pistons taped up. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and spray the paint and varnish stripper on here just to go ahead and get rid of all that unwanted paint on there as much as possible. I forgot to mention that you're also gonna wanna tape this rubber piece off just so it doesn't mess up any of the rubber pieces. Honestly, never use paint stripper before and this stuff is freaking wild look at that it's just literally coming off that's so trippy sing it in camera like it's lovely i just want to see you strip girl <laughs> strip this paint down strip this paint man whose girl did this leave me alone this. all right so that's bad. your girl now you claim her sorry <laughs> yeah shout out to r1 because marissa was looking crusty I with these things <laughs> You guys need to go check out their brakes because they're <laughs> good price. Yeah, don't be Marissa. Don't be me. Don't be don't Marissa. Don't end up like me. You need to go <laughs> bless yourself with the R1 concept brakes. <laughs> oh. Now we're doing the rears held down by what? How many bolts? It's uh, two 17s. Mm -hmm. The rears are smaller, but I have to get, um, you can't use a long one. It'll you have to use a, a stubby one? Yeah, I have to use the short regular socket because it does not fit like that. So I was working on the other side, um, but I see that it's actually working now. So I'm going to wipe it and see how it looks. Oh, wow. Yeah, you could see. Even though the red is still on there. This is basically how I sanded it last time. You can see all the paint just coming off. It's crazy. It's crazy, babe. Look at this. This is how far I sanded it last time. So I'm gonna respray it after I peel this first layer off and then see if it can get some more of the red paint off. Rotors are kind of stuck. Marissa says just to hammer them um, and then just wiggle it out somehow. Well, you know what? It, yeah, generally like in the front, but usually on the rear, because what happens is like it gets rusted on the actual hub itself. So yeah. sometimes you might have to, 
But in this case, don't forget to put down your e-brake, guys, because you will never get this rotor <laughs> because the parking brake shoe is literally integrated in the rotor. So you will never get it off no matter how much you hammer it unless you really want to damage things. Yeah, so e-brake so yeah. e down. E-brake down. Gotcha. <laughs> Right now, um, it's sanded probably to the best ability right now, but it's coming along pretty good. Right now, I'm going to primer it and then probably use my heat gun to make it, you know, dry faster because we're in a rush. So they are starting to look super cute. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Look at this. It's gonna finally look like a girl car. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so glad that I finally get to be like, hey, Lo, is this a girl's car? You know, because it has purple lavender brake calipers. Look at that, oof, with the white wheels, oof. It's gonna pop, it's gonna look good. It's gonna be cute. Okay, so it is already nighttime. Uh, we have basically been waiting for these calipers to dry. They came out really clean, super cute, super excited, but we have plans. So we're supposed to go see the Fast 9 movie at 9.30. It is currently 8.30. We basically have 30 minutes to put this thing back together. Hopefully everything's dry or else I'm gonna wreck the calipers all over again. But basically you guys are gonna be on a little goose chase with us right now. So <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we can get this done. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice upgrade right there. It is. You need the two 19 millimeter bolts. So once you have the rotor on there, you just slide it on. You have to make sure that the pistons are decompressed. So there are tools you could get um, to do that, just to make sure that the pads fit on correctly. After that, you go ahead and put the two 19 millimeter bolts back in place. Just basically do everything in reverse order, and you should have a nice new slotted, drilled, drilled, just slotted. <laughs> or OEM looking rotors uh, back on your setup. What are these? Brake pads, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tell the viewers. Sorry, I'm just trying to get things done and it's just like you're asking me simple questions. Well, the viewers wanna know. They are brake pads. <laughs> <laughs> they are brake pads for the Evo 8 or 9. Gosh, okay, so one side has, oh, actually, all of them have sensors. I'm just kidding. Or actually, do they? Looks like, no, okay. So one side has a sensor, one side doesn't. So that's how you're gonna know which, um, you don't want to put two sensors on each side, so right. you're gonna to have to use one. Ah, there's a bug! Okay, so one of these with the sensor, and then one of these on this side. So we'll go like this, and they slide in. Baby, baby. Nice. Oh, I touched it again! You can't really tell. They look like they're in there. They look like they're in there. That's what I like to hear. Um, I need lube. There you go. Just slide it oh, back on. Oh, it's because the paint. Mm -hmm. This is some type of lube that you can just get at your general hardware store or AutoZone or Riley's. Okay. <laughs> there you go. This is the hard part. Like forcing getting, the other yeah, one? Forcing yeah, forcing the other one down. Yeah. Ooh, that's it. Oh. One done, three to go. That looks so good. It does look nice though. Check it out guys. Bam. Okay, so the finished product looks amazing. I'm in love with it. At first, I was a little iffy on the lilac, lavender color for the rotors. I mean, the pads. I mean, the, <laughs> the calipers. 
<laughs> so many brake part components. It's hard to <laughs> decipher which one's which. Anyways, so the calipers look really great with the car. The R1 Concepts rotors and pads, they work phenomenal. I already took it for a test drive. Everything is perfect. Um, my rotors passed my old rotors were actually warped so now it stops like a dream so super excited for that the, the color just pops and now it finally i feel like it finally looks like a little girl car you know because i feel like a lot of people are just like oh is that your boyfriend's car and blah 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 and no it's not okay <laughs> my boyfriend has his own evo <laughs> Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Huge shout out to R1 Concepts. They are freaking amazing. They got my brake pads to me and my rotor super, super quick. The kit was phenomenal. Like I said, the brake pads are working beautifully. Um, I can't wait to produce more content for you guys. Um, so stay tuned for the next one. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you guys.